Well, hello there. It's been a while. Not since you've seen my face. I'm sure you've seen my face quite a bit because I have been broadcasting in as many places as I can for my web series, but we'll get to that. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Things and Stuff. Since it's been a while, I figured it was time to update you on the things and stuff going on in my life. Thing one, I quit Fika. Fika being the Swedish coffee shop that I worked at for about a year and a half. The job that I got is basically as soon as I got off the plane to New York. I was assistant manager for about eight months of that time, and while I will not go into the details of why I left right now, suffice it to say it was the best decision I could have made, even though I am now very, very broke. But it was worth it, it was a good decision, I am very happy that I did it. Thing two. My MTV internship. Once I quit Fika, one of the first things I started to do was apply to internships, and I got one, partially for myself and partially for my degree requirements for my MFA program. I ended up in the insights and innovation section of the MTV research team. I sit in a cubicle and look at like BuzzFeed and Tumblr and try to just find millennial trends and try to pick out why things are getting popular, what's important about them, and potentially what MTV as like a content creation service can do with this information. Can they turn it into a show? Can they use it in an episode of a pre-existing show? On and on and on. It's really, really cool. I love it so much. I thought it was gonna be so boring and it's actually been basically the best thing ever. Like I have school Mondays and then Tuesday through Friday, I have my internship. So that's been pretty cool. Unfortunately, despite the fact that it is a paid internship, it's paid significantly less, obviously, than an assistant manager's salary, and I work one less day a week. So I've had to supplement my income, which leads us to thing three. So to supplement my income while I'm interning at MTV, I am freelancing, and I sort of pretty quickly landed two long-term gigs. The first is that I write and record listicle-like scripts. So basically what happens is that the people who hired me send me a topic like X craziest Halloween costumes of all time. And then I have to decide how many I wanna do. I have to write a script between 1,000 and 2,000 words. And then I have to record myself reading that script and send them both the script and the video file. And then I, I, think, I think they make them into videos. I'm not really sure. The other freelancing job I have is a little bit more kind of ridiculous and a lot more work, but obviously I get paid a little more for it. I am ghostwriting cozy mystery novel outlines, and that is complicated, and I'm not really allowed to talk about like what specific stories I'm doing or who the publisher is, and I'm actually not 100% sure who the publisher is or who is like actually writing the novels themselves, but basically what happens is that this publishing company sends me four plots for a four book series of books, and then they give me like a basic this is who your main character is and their occupation. So they give me like this very, very basic like structure for what they want for this four book series. And then I write a detailed outline and a first scene so that the eventual writer can sort of pick up where I left off and sort of actually write the novel. That is how I'm not dying in New York right now. It's not great or consistent money in any way, but it is, it's enough for now. Thank for. I recently made my Tumblr unsecret. And for those of you who don't really know what that means, since I was, I'm pretty sure actually in high school, I created a Tumblr account under a assumed name so that I could rant about the people in my life, but without actually running the risk of them reading it. And this was an outlet that I gave myself that I didn't really use that often, to be honest. And I realized that it was silly to have a secret Tumblr. So I deleted all of the like ranty personal stuff. And now I am on Tumblr and I am reblogging gifs of my own show and things about Mindy Kaling, and yeah, it's pretty great, so you should follow me, link in the doobly-doo. Thing five, brains! The first thing about brains is that it exists, and at the time of filming this video, there are seven episodes uploaded, which is insane, and people like it. We are over 100 views on all episodes, except for the most recent two. We're getting hate comments, we're getting really long detailed analysis comments. Obviously, this is no viral video, you know, John and Hank Green aren't banging down my door to help me produce season two, which may or may not happen. But hey, I have a web series, people are really enjoying it, it's a great visual portfolio piece, and I'm so, so proud of this stupid little show. And it's kind of legit now. Thing six, we have an IMDB page 
and a TV tropes page for brains. Like that is how legit we are. We don't have a Wikipedia yet because Wikipedia is a bunch of fascists who will not ever let me make a Wikipedia page. I've tried so many times, not just for this show, but just in general, and Wikipedia hates me. So I, I'm out. If anybody wants to make me a Wikipedia page, that would be super nice of them. But regardless, he things seven. There's a reason that there are so many more things on that wall and why my room is a disaster right now um, is because it is not just my room anymore. It is mine and Quinn's. He moved to New York about a month, month and a half ago, and I am so happy. I'm very, very happy he's here. It's been a fairly seamless transition, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot weirder to all of a sudden like go from having a long distance boyfriend to having a live-in boyfriend, but we've been together for almost three years, so we're pretty, you know, comfortable with each other. There's a lot of things going on in my life right now, clearly, um, and this things and stuff video only covers like a fraction and like the big things, but there's also billions and billions of other things going on. But either way, I'm so happy to have talked to you again. I missed you guys. I missed talking to you as Brie rather than as Allison or as Brie promoting Allison. It's a whole thing, but I'm glad to be back. I can't promise that I'll post any new videos in the next month, but I do have my Letter to Future Self that I have to post because I've been doing it for I think three years now, so I'll be posting that sometime within the next month or two, um, and my year in review, which I do every year. So you'll at least see two more videos from me before the end of the year, and of course we're posting new episodes of Brains every morning around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got three more episodes left in the series, and I'm so excited, and I hope you're enjoying them as much as we are, and if you haven't seen it yet, uh, go watch it. There are links in the doobly-doo to everything that you need to know, <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you soon.